you spent your youth in the library fortress of Candlekeep, under the kind tutelage of your foster father, Gorion. Imoen shared this home, a kindred spirit. Her background was as mysterious as your own. Gorion's murder brought answers to your questions when his killer, Saravok, was revealed to be your brother. You and Saravok were a product of the Time of Troubles, a chaotic period when gods were made flesh and forced to walk the earth. One such deity foresaw his own death and walked the land before the cataclysm. He left a score of mortal offspring intended to be the fuel for his rebirth. The god was Baal, lord of murder, and you are one of his children. Saravak sought a war of sacrifice to prove his worth, believing he could become the new lord of murder. You killed your brother, sending his taint back to Baal. You were the hero of Baldur's Gate, but some suspected you shared the same lineage as Saravok. You departed soon after, under circumstances much darker than anyone would have believed. They came as you rested, figures cloaked in mist that clouded your thoughts, blurring the lines between consciousness and dreaming. There was no malice or hatred, no mention of an old score, only quick capture and the promise of grim deeds to come. Ah, the child of Ball has awoken. It is time for more... experiments. The pain will only be passing. You should survive the process. Interesting. You have much untapped power. Do you even realize your potential? More intruders have entered the complex, Master. They act sooner than we had anticipated. No matter, they will only prove a slight delay. Come on, 
to get out of here. before whoever did this returns. I swear, traveling with you is never done. Nature's servant awaits. Minsk will be free! These bonds will not hold my wrath! Butts will be liberally kicked in good measure! They bend and twist with my berserker strength! Minsk and Boo are free! Now you will not- Ooh! Ooh! Oh, you are a smart one! I understand now! You said what you did just to get me mad! Mad enough to break free! <laughs> you are as smart as Boo sometimes! Must be done. Ho oh, there! Blue, the demigoddess of immortal bards, told me you could use a little assistance in here. So I took a break from uh, destroying the denizens of the hells and reckless wayward plane hopping to drop in and see if I could lend a hand. I'm Jasper St. Baird, her favorite love slave, and I am at your service. Right, will do. To the exit it is. Oh, tech. Let's see. One ra. Well, here we are. Here's all the items you would have picked up, along with the gold you would have gotten for slaying all the goblins and for toting every piece of crap equipment down here out. Oh yeah, have some experience pieces too. They're good for the heart. By the way, uh, some dryad chicks would be very appreciative if you'd take their acorns to the Windspear Hills so they can quit being Arenicus's harem. Feel like accepting? That's uh, a lot of I stuff. Carry too much uh, make sure you didn't drop Your any items of it. On the ground. Arenicus kept an awful lot of crap lying around for the taking. Nothing worse than a sloppy villain. Heh. <laughs> all right, then. That's all for me. Now Mistress Blue sends her regards, and good luck, because you'll likely need it. Anyway, I have a bailer to kill by three, and by five I need to attend to a certain demigoddess's massage. 
I should be a god by next week, though. I hear I'll probably see you there sometime. Remember, love bards, unless they're that hair de lease jackass. Ciao! Are you friend or foe? Give me some direct. It's probably best let. The tunnel slopes upward into the welcome glare of daylight. Such is your relief that you barely notice the debris at your feet. The remnants of a battle fought only moments before. Surveying the carnage, you hear a scream of rage. And a massive explosion collapses the passage behind you. The sounds of combat greet you as you struggle to your feet. The fight, it seems is still going strong. You dare to attack me here? Do you even know whom you face? You will suffer! You will all suffer! So, Godchild, you have escaped. You are more resourceful than I had thought. You're not going to torture us any longer. Torture? Silly girl, you just don't understand what I'm doing, do you? I don't care what you're doing. Let us go! I won't let you leave, not when I'm so close to unlocking your power. We don't want anything from you. Enough! I will no longer listen to the babbling of ignorant children. This is an unsanctioned use of magical energy. All involved will be held. This disturbance is over. Must I this be interrupted at every turn? Enough of this! This mage's power is immense. We must overcome him quickly. Enough! I haven't the time for this. You will cease your spell casting and come with us. Your pathetic magics are useless. Let this end. Even if we fall, our numbers are many. You will be overwhelmed. You bore me, Mageling. You may take me in, but you will take the girl as well. What? No. I've done nothing wrong. You have been involved in illegal use of magic. You will come with us. I'm not going with him. I'm not. Help me. You point, I punch. No trouble out of you. I await it is done. Paul Bartman at your service.
group is yours to reform as you see fit, though dropping me for another does not seem like the wisest choice. I will abide by your decision, though. Who needs to know? Did you want us to remain with the group? 